guess who's really getting trained? Basically, it's us. We're, we're the getting, problem. <laughs> we're getting trained. Hey, roamers. Let's roll that intro. It's Jamie, Linda, and Dexter here back hey. at you again. Um, just <laughs> wanted to thank everybody for subscribing and watching our videos. Uh, if you didn't get a chance, check out uh, last week's video. That's the video where we went to the Grand Canyon Part 1, and we also talked about the 360 siphon. Um, this is going to be our third video, and we're going to do Grand Canyon Episode 2. And then we're also going to be talking about Dexter here a little bit. Hey y'all, so um, this is Dexter. He's 50 pounds of total hyperness. He's about four years old. When we got him, he was a rescue. He was about one year old, and we don't think he'd ever been out of the backyard where he was. Didn't have his shots. The people lied to us, everything about him, but we're glad we have him. He's quite the little character. Um, lately though, he's not liking travel. He's never liked riding in the car when we take him on our trips he cries for like the whole first hour and then passes out we've got cal calming tablets i don't want to drug him up because then we stop and we go on hikes and then he wouldn't be able to really do it we wouldn't want to leave him in the car um, or in the rv so this week um and we'll show it on our next episode dexter's going to start training so we took him to the trainer that we're going to take him to and um, he was doing all his stuff. If you see in our last videos how when I walk with him, he kind of zigzags back and forth. He doesn't seem to be able to walk in a straight line. So Dexter's, the people who had him before got him as a free Rottweiler. And obviously he's not a Rottweiler. In fact, he has no Rottweiler in him. They had his DNA tested and it came back that he was Sharpe, German Shepherd, and Basset Hound. So we can see the Basset Hound trainer can see the Sharpay and Sharpays are really independent dogs. It would be nice if we had a little more Basset Hound personality going, but that's not Dexter. So the trainer um, takes him on the leash and everything we said he does, he that he does wrong with us, he does perfect for her. So guess who's really getting trained? Basically it's us. We're, We're the getting, problem. <laughs> We're getting trained. Yeah. So she says that Dexter is trying to be in charge because obviously we're not so. we're not taking charge we're not being the <laughs> pack leaders apparently so um we've done that with every dog unfortunately um a lot of it has to do with me i spoil him um Feeds him he gets a little table. bit of my dinner every single night and yeah. now that's not a good thing but he's my good kid so i have to reward him unfortunately but he's a good boy yeah so that's gonna stop i'm sure um, it's not cheap to have private lessons with a trainer, so hopefully um, she thinks two or three lessons and then she's going to start putting him in with a group so he can get re-socialized. And he wasn't really socialized to begin with, having been kind of locked in somebody's backyard, although he did get along with their goats. We know that. <laughs> he got along with their goats and their alpacas and, and, and their chickens alpacas. and their six other dogs. He got along with all of them okay. So. He's going to start some training. Um, one of the things that's really common here in the desert is hot cement and concrete. So this summer we got him some shoes. It was actually to go to the Grand Canyon. It was supposed to be a lot hotter than it was when we went there. So we got him shoes. That worked really pretty well. He liked yeah, them. we were we were expecting him to do like every other dog we've ever seen where they kind of they keep their legs up and they don't know how to walk and they're just kind of really awkward <laughs> um the thing that we did is we put him on him took him for a walk immediately and he just kind of strolled right along and did okay so with it so and that was a tip we picked up from someone else on youtube too so lots of stuff coming up with dexter um and then the remodel of rosie here um i've got behind us a blanket thanks to all the comments and i didn't do a really got good job explaining what we were thinking of right. in the first video. But, well, we um, just listed types of uh, different 
decoration. We didn't really show any pictures. Or right. What that entails. So this is basically what we've decided on. We're going to go kind of Aztec Southwest, but in these colors. So I'm really excited about it. We've got our work cut out for us this winter, getting getting Rosie all redone. Yes, and now's the time to do it. Uh, we kind of held off from starting any renovations because, uh, as people know, here in the summertime, Arizona is just way too hot. Um, I would have to have the generator running the entire day with both ACs running to be able to be in here. So it just kind of didn't make sense. So we waited till it cooled down. Now it's the cool time. We're going to take advantage and start doing some of those renovations and see as much of this as we can get done. So. so. So this winter, since we're staying close to our home base, um, but a lot of people, a lot of you are probably headed out here to Arizona to enjoy our weather over the winter. So we'll be um, getting out and doing a lot of stories on what to do, what to see, where to hang out here in the low deserts. And um, we've got a trip coming up to Tucson with Rosie and Dexter and um, Camp Verde was what we went to last week. So that is probably at about 3,000 feet, something like um, that. Yeah, somewhere between three and 4,000 feet so elevation. It, so cold yeah. nights during the winter, but the days are nice, mild. Perfect in the day, just perfect. Yeah. We checked out some wineries there and that was fun. And yes, I'm not a wine drinker, but I enjoy watching the process and learning about how the place makes their wine. The gentleman that we went to up in Camp Verde was really interesting, uh, his history, and we're going to touch on that in the videos. So. The owner, yeah. Yeah, the owner, he was really cool. cool. So if you do head out to um, Phoenix or the Tucson or the low desert area this winter, it'd probably be fun to make a stop up in Camp Verde. It's about an hour, hour and a half north of Phoenix. Yeah, it's a nice little town. There's um, uh, some really nice campgrounds up there. There's some wineries. You're only about... 30 minutes from Sedona, so there's a lot of neat stuff to see around there. There's also Jerome, Clarkdale, um, some really nice hiking areas and things of that nature. So it's really and pretty up there. More wineries. <laughs> yes, lots of wineries. <laughs> and vineyards. <laughs> <laughs> also, when we go to Tucson, there's also some vineyards near there. I don't know that we'll make it on the next trip, but lots we'll of see. wineries. <laughs> so if you notice on the last video, we uh, uh, part of the video we showed you uh, the first part of our Grand Canyon trip. Uh, basically we were on the west, uh, the east side where the uh, Desert View Tower is. Uh, the next video is going to show uh, basically us getting to our campsite and then um, that first day we we did a seven and a half mile hike. Uh, it was kind of a sunset hike. We ended up uh, around sunset. Um, initially we were just going to walk to the visitor center, which turned out to be we ended up doing seven and a half miles that first day. So uh, it was <laughs> it was pretty good, but it ended up with a nice sunset. So, so hey, roamers, I hope you enjoy this next video of the Grand Canyon. And if you could, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, and please share us with your friends. And remember to keep on roaming with Rosie.